today is super exciting because I am on a Game of Thrones filming location tour. Oh, I filmed an intro this morning, but I thought it'd be way cooler to film it at the King's Road. <laughs> We've seen some amazing sights today, this one included, so I can't wait for you to see. Too unofficial. <laughs> so we just stopped at Carrick Fergus Castle and this actually isn't a filming location for Game of Thrones. They did consider it, the tour guide said. Um, but we're just stopping here for a bathroom break before we go to the actual locations. But it's still awesome to see. So keep looking to your left hand side. So you see the top, you see the lift, you see the wall. And if you keep looking over your left shoulder around the next corner, you'll see it slightly better. So, like I said, the lift is fully functional. The lift is used. It's used in the show. They do. Go. So that wall they're selling us for 700 miles long. You can see where it really is, how big it really is. It doesn't really snow in Northern Ireland either, so if you look, uh, if you watch Game of Thrones, the Norse, the beyond the wall, Castle Black, of course it's never real snow. It never is. So right behind me here is where they filmed some of season six in Game of Thrones, but I don't want to give away any spoilers, so you'll recognize it if you've watched it. The episode, there is a bridge here, technically. Technically there's a bridge. Um, and then whatever character goes into the water. I'm just not going to tell you because I don't want to spoil it. Okay, the closest bridge we can find is that one. It's not that one. The bridge is in Spain. The bridge that they used is in Spain. So when the, when the actors at that spot thought, brilliant, we're going to go into Spanish waters, they didn't know they were coming out of Northern Ireland. <laughs> Spain, gravels is a very warm place. Bravos <laughs> 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 is a really, really warm place. Part of it is in Northern Ireland, so some acting required here. So we just arrived at the Cashendon Caves, and this is where Melisandre gives birth to the Shadow Assassin, the Shadow Baby in the cave. Like those are the caves over there. of the shadow assassin right in front of it in that driveway. <laughs> so I'm always saying it's just some spot to be doing that. And then of course the cave itself, you can see it's all nature. It's always cold and damp. It's 4,000 years of extreme weather conditions and it can only happen because of where it is. It can only happen because it's right at sea. <laughs> so there's actually two caves even though in the show they make it look like one, so one when Davos and Melisandre like come up on the beach and then it makes it look like it's the same cave when she's giving birth, but it's actually two separate ones. So we've just arrived at Dunley's castle and this is where they film um, the Greyjoy song. But it actually doesn't look exactly like the Greyjoy song, but all the surroundings are the same as it was in, in Game of Thrones. Okay. 
we are at the Giants Causeway right now, and no, it doesn't really have anything to do with Game of Thrones, but like the tour guide said when we were on the bus, you can't come this far up Northern Ireland and not stop to see it, so that's what we're doing right now. centigrade it starts to cool very quickly. Any kind of hot liquid shrinks as it cools and this was no different. It started to form cracks at 120 degree angles. Those cracks started to join up and that's how we ended up getting the hexagon shapes. Make my way to the top. So this stop is where Renly's camp was filmed, and when we first meet Rian, um, when she does the, the battle. So in Game of Thrones, it's Renly's camp, mainly, you can see Renly at Marjorie here. On, I'll show you a clip when we get back onto the bus, you can see the background as well. They are sitting against that, that lime, uh, limestone wall and they look that way, they look out into the sea. I will show you what I mean because you can't see Rasson Island from here quite well. And on, on the actual episode you can also see Rasson Island in the background. I'm sure there are better photos than that to put on this. Renly's camp itself was here. In real life it's a car park, not even, it's an extension of a car park. It's when that car park is full, this one is used. And um, that's Renly's camp. In real life there were six tents. Everything else you've seen was copied and pasted. So none, none of the other ones were real. It was quite early on at the filming of Northern Ireland. So they didn't really quite know what they were doing yet. So from the very, very first time they have been filming here, they thought we're going to get it all together. We do it all in the one day. So tomorrow morning, first thing, we can start whenever we need to start with all the actors. So they had everything set up. They had the, um, the camp set up, the tents set up. Everything was set up. They came back the next morning with all the actors. The entire camp flew in the ocean. <laughs> so there was nothing left here, so they had to start all over again. So now they have learned to either put it properly into the ground or don't bother until you actually need it. So they have never done it again since. But the entire camp was gone, not properly put into the ground. And we're gonna go all the way to the house with no roof. It's the old school house. Because we're going to go on top of it. That's a place, that's a background of the Iron Isles and it's where the new king is crowned. Where she is standing right now, that's where the big speech is held. I can't really tell you too much. I tell you, the Iron Isles, Sion and Yara, the big speech, the new king is crowned, all that. The speech is held right there where you're standing. The only thing that's different in the episode is the metal is CGI'd out. And apart from that, he looks like he's standing on a stone. He's standing on, the old, on top of the old school house. They don't show you the house, they do show you the stone and him standing up talking to the crowd that's standing here. It's uh, also the place, I told you about Renly's camp, it's also the place you see Jamie and Brianne coming from there, walking down this way when they're traveling together. And it's quite easy to make it out because it's the only way that has limestone on both sides that you can find anywhere in Ireland. So uh, very easy to make that out. They then go into a field, which obviously is not here. Um, it, can't, it could be around the farmer's land again. It hasn't been confirmed though where exactly it is. And then you have, if you look down here, you have Theon and Yara leaving from here as well. You see a little dent in the, in the land. That's where their boat is and that's where they leave from. So quite a lot of filming going on here. So as the tour guide said, now we are at um, Renly's camp. Um, which is where we first meet Brienne, and right there is where someone is crowned king. But this is a spoiler-free video, so we're not gonna say who in case you haven't watched that yet. <laughs> but now we're going over there, 
to cross the Karaka Red Bridge, I think is what it's called. Going on this tour just makes me think of how cool it would be to be like a location scout for a movie or a TV show and just go around to all these different places and like have the imagination to think what each shot would look like. It's just so cool seeing all these places around here, knowing that they had to come and seek out these places and imagine like, okay, this is what we want Renly's camp to look like, this would work, like, it's just so cool to me. Okay, we're almost at the bridge, but the view, just getting to it is incredible. We just got to the Dark Edges, aka the King's Road, and this might be one of the coolest places I've ever been. now that tour was amazing i was geeking out the entire day if you're a fan of game of thrones you have to do that tour like come to northern ireland just to do that tour and see the filming locations there was so much too that i didn't get to show on the camera that the tour guide was telling us like you have to do that if you're a fan of the show um but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you tomorrow